My name is uh, Charlie Udal Christensen. I am walking from Denmark to Tanzania. The best weapon I have is just to come with open arms, with love, with a smile, and uh, being as friendly as possible to everybody I meet. I meet. But um, I can imagine situations where I will have to fight for my life. I do have a knife, I have a pepper spray, and I have a, a spade if, uh, if something comes really close. But uh, I would like also to have something for uh, ranged combat. I don't think that a big rifle will be uh, very good to carry around. Um, it would bring me into a lot of trouble with the law enforcement probably. And also I will uh, I will it will be a false protection for me, I think. If people just want to rob me but they see a rifle, they will uh, they will have to make me cold. So uh, instead I wanted something looking more innocent but still giving me an advantage if uh, something is, uh, is really coming towards me. At first I bought this little fellow here on a market very cheap but uh, also not very durable and uh, one of the first times I really tried to give it some tension it actually broke. So uh, I knew I, I would need to get something more professional. Then I ordered a 3D printed uh, slingshot from the USFA and what I was asking for was a little uh, little thing that looked like a toy so I wouldn't uh, be uh, so likely to, uh, to have it confiscated at the borders and uh, I must say that it was a little toy like thing I found but also this one was not durable enough as you see. That can also take some tension because if I'm in a situation where I will need my slingshot, I should be able to uh, yeah to give it the, the power it needs. So I was uh, searching the internet and I found a page called survivalslingshot.com. And uh, luckily, the survival slingshot was uh, willing to uh, sponsor a slingshot for me, and it, it looks like this. As you see more durable than the other two. You can get a lot of tension here and you actually have a good uh, stable uh, thing to carry around. And still it doesn't take more space than you can have it in your back pocket if you want to. The survival slingshot um, is more than a slingshot. It has a little uh, lid in the bottom where you can store some iron bullets you actually also have a container with some uh, sewing thread and some um, some fishing hooks and uh, other survival stuff. So if you find yourself in the bush without anything but your slingshot, it's good to have around. Anyway, what uh, what I come here to show you today is how it looks when we shoot with with this fellow. There is a a, a wrist thing here that makes it uh, that gives some some tension so so it doesn't you don't pull it too far back you know it gives more precision stability and then um, besides the small iron bullets the great thing about the slingshot is that you can use pebbles you can find your ammunition on the ground like here obviously the iron bullets is more precise as they are completely round but small pebbles works as well uh, in a real situation, I would probably not uh, remember this, but uh, while practicing, it's always a good idea to remember some security glasses because if you hit a hard surface, the rock might return and uh, you don't want to break your eyes practicing. So we put on these things and then we try to uh, aim for the bottle over here and see if I can uh, hit it down. Yeah! One shot, one kill! <laughs> Good, Good you can see how many shots we did it out. As I mentioned earlier, you can get the survival slingshot with different attachments. One of the things you can get is a small flashlight allowing you to hunt in the night. You can also get a laser point aimer. And uh, personally, I try to be minimalistic, not carrying too many things. Uh, and I don't think I really need any of those. What I might need though is this thing. It's called a whisker biscuit. And uh, when you attach this one, it allows you to 
actually use your slingshot as a bow shooting arrows. So as you see, I take up my arrow and put it right down here to the middle of the whisker biscuit that has a little hole. Then I find my leather patch. It's possible to get a cord with a string in the middle instead of a leather patch, making it more suitable for arrows. I don't have that thing and I will mostly use my uh, slingshot for, for shooting pebbles or iron bullets. But it's, it's fun to see how the, the biscuit works here. So basically you put your arrow in the leather patch, you find the hole in the biscuit biscuit, and you give it tension just like if it was an iron bullet or a small bullet. So let's try. Dead lions everywhere!